Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com. Back today just for another quick snippet of information. This one in fact is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm just going to go give you a few tips and ideas and some materials ideas for how you can embellish your pores. So this is a poured painting that I did just recently and I thought, um, although I really loved the colours, it kind of looked like a coral reef to me, it didn't have a focal point and that was great because I'd been looking for a painting in order to embellish it with a lionfish for my husband for Christmas. The lionfish is his favourite fish and so here I am, I have drawn um, and partly, partly drawn, partly painted a lionfish onto this pour. Now you might say, oh you're so talented but in fact I have no talent at all when it comes to art. I am dreadful, absolutely dreadful at drawing or painting anything if you want it to look lifelike or realistic. And so of course when I wanted to do this painting for my husband for Christmas it posed me a challenge and I want to show you how um, you can do something like this if you are artistically challenged like I am. So, um, the first thing I needed to do was find an image and the great thing these days, there are so many colouring books out there. Because colouring is now popular for kids and for adults, you can get fantastic colouring books. This one I particularly liked, this is a Sea Life one and the best thing about this, it's a stained glass colouring book. So when you open it up, all of the images in here are done on like um, a vellum. Let me take one like this so I can show you. So rather than on a, a white paper, it's kind of transparent. So when you put it over something, you can see what's underneath. So this was absolutely ideal for deciding where I wanted to place this on my pour. As you can see, you can colour on it and it creates like a stained glass effect. If you hold them up to the light, they're kind of transparent. So I'll put a link where you can find this one, but they also in the same range have lots of other subjects. But for me, this Sea Life one was perfect. And inside I found, ta-da, a picture of the lionfish that I wanted to transfer over to here. Now this would be great if I was any good at copying or art at all. I could lay it next to here and I could just draw it on and everything would be fine. But of course I don't have that skill. So I needed to find a way to transfer this image onto my canvas. And this is where my next piece of equipment comes in. I bought this one. This I got in my local art supply store. This is Bernini pencil line and it's a spray that creates like a carbon paper effect. It's got a little um, image here that shows you basically what it does. It says transfer spray. Fast drying, transfer drawing to paper, canvas, walls, artboard, etc. Works like carbon paper but without the mess. So I got myself a big roll of this. This is um, a plastic coated freezer paper. It's quite strong and it also comes in big sheets and you can make this any size you want. So I got my piece of freezer paper, turned it over onto the dull side and sprayed it with this pencil line spray and it creates like um, a carbon paper like you used to use in the old days for um, typing. And so you can see just here it's very very quick it dries in like two to three minutes and obviously you can make a piece as large as you need to for your painting and then you just what I did was I placed it obviously the carbon side down on my image placed my picture on the top and then just went over it actually with the end of my paintbrush like this where I wanted the lines to be and I transferred lines onto my painting and you can see here where I've taken the lines off of the paper and basically onto the painting. Now I would say that because some of the colours here were quite dark, um, it wasn't you know, crisp and clear as it would be against a white canvas. So if you were trying to do something on top of a black canvas or a dark blue or something, then this wouldn't work as well. You'd need something that's more chalky or a lighter colour. But for most coloured canvases, using this uh, carbon paper worked absolutely fine to transfer my image onto this canvas. So once I had my image there, I then used some of these pens. These are um, opaque paint markers and they're actually called painters I think. These are the medium tipped ones and I also got an extra one in the black which I managed to find in a fine tip and using those 
enabled me to then draw over the lines um, which I had put on the canvas with the carbon paper and basically make this image and I've done most of it in black then I've highlighted a few of the little elements of it in red and what I also did was use a silver wash so I just got some silver acrylic paint added lots of water to it and just washed over it very slightly you can see a little bit here in the fins where I put the pen lines down first and then I washed over so you can see kind of silver effect like that and the the fish is very much kind of silvery and red and so it looks really good so it's not quite finished just yet I've obviously got to do a little bit more to it and then put a glossy top coat on but I think my husband is going to be pleasantly surprised at this when I give it to him for Christmas and he will wonder how on earth I suddenly learned to draw and paint him a, a wonderful lionfish so let's keep the secret unto ourselves it's easy get yourself a coloring book get yourself some carbon paper or make your own carbon paper with a spray like this get yourself some of these acrylic paint markers and you'll be well on your way to creating gorgeous embellished pores and creating artwork on top of your pores even if like me you have no artistic talent at all so thanks very much for watching this was just a quick snippet and i hope to see you at acrylicpouring.com for some more painting fun very soon